Okay, guys, this is it. Let's go for it. Let's get this dub. The play is green, 24, 88. Wait. Coach, you sure? This is a pass play. You know how it ended up last time. Okay. AB, you ready? Ben, are you serious? This is not going to happen again. We are past the Patriots. We are going to toast them like we've been doing all night. We're going to be fine. Third and goal. Over the top and intercepted. Intercepted by Shelby Harris. What is up, fam? I hope you liked that little skit in the beginning. I might be doing that more often. If... Pitt keeps making those dumb decisions on the two-yard line. Come on, guys. You learn from from the Patriots. Even though I didn't agree with the Jesse James uh, catch, which it was, they still made a dumb decision to pass it. And it looked like they didn't even learn from their lesson. And they passed it again, and they then got picked off by a D-tackle. But I still rep. I'm always going to rep. Got the Pittsburgh hat on. So let's get right into the video, guys. Right to it, guys. The first game up is New Orleans versus Dallas, and I'm gonna have to go with New Orleans because New Orleans has been on fire. I think they've went like eight straight or something. They're just on fire. I have to choose them. Dallas is good, but not beat New Orleans good. Next game is Indianapolis versus Jacksonville. Oh yeah, stop myself right there. I might be going a little bit quicker because this is the biggest week I think we've had so far. 16 games. So I'm going to try to go a little bit faster so this video isn't a five-minute video. So next game is Indianapolis versus Jacksonville. And I'm going to have to go Indy. Indy's been on an up and Jacksonville's on a down. Jacksonville has been doing very poorly. The offense, I believe, is the thing that's carrying them down. Blake Bortles is not doing good at all, I believe. The defense is... Good, but not as good as last year, which is bogging them down. Like, that stellar defense last year, that held them up and made it so they could get to the playoffs. But not this year. The defense is not as dominant. It still is, but not as dominant. So, I think Indianapolis is going to win. <clears throat> Carolina versus Tampa is the next one. I'm going to go Carolina. Carolina's been steady, which is actually crazy to say, but they have been steady. So I'm going to have to go with Carolina other than Tampa. Tampa has not been performing well after the Steelers win over them with the Vance McDonald stiff arm that just rocked the world. So, yeah, Tampa has been underperforming, so Carolina should come out with the W. Next game is Beemore versus Atlanta. I'm going to have to go with Beemore because Atlanta, I think, lost last week, and Beemore, I think, won. I think, yeah, Terrell Suggs brought back like a – 54 or 40 something yard um fumble return for a touchdown which is insane and i yeah i think b is gonna be able to come back with that w atlanta's defense is shot deon jones and keon neal was out last game so so i think baltimore is gonna win next game is houston versus cleveland and houston is gonna win that game even though cleveland i believe beat atlanta now that I'm saying it. Um, and Houston had a great game, uh, which was uh, two nights from now. Yeah, it was on Monday night. Houston, 97-yard touchdown, Lamar Miller. Shout out to him. Um, great touchdown. I watched almost, I think I watched the whole game. So that was a great touchdown, and Houston's looking up. Houston is looking up. Next game is Miami versus Buffalo. And I'm going to go with Miami, even though Buffalo had a shocker over there. Don't know who they versed, but I'm pretty sure they won. And that shocked me. But I think Miami's going to be able to beat them. Next game is Chicago versus the Giants. And I'm going to have to go with Chicago because Chicago has a very solid defense. Their defense is very solid, and I don't think the Giants' offense is going to be able to surpass that. And I do not know if Mitch Trubisky is back or not. That could definitely influence if the game is won or not. Next game is Denver versus Cincinnati. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go with Denver because, of course, we all know Denver beat Pittsburgh, which is a big statement. Their defense is looking up, even though we got a 97-yard touchdown to Juju. 
they still hold, held us only to 17 points. But we did get chipped out of 13, so we should have had 30. With the fumble that turns into a touchback from Grimble. The um, two messed up field goals from Boswell. One was blocked and one was purely shanked, I believe. So we missed out on 13 points, which was our fault, but we should have had them. At least seven. So I think that Denver's still going to be able to win, though. Because they had a great game versus us. I can't say anything bad about them. They had a great game versus us. Next game is L.A. versus Detroit. And L.A. is clearly going to win. Come on, guys. L.A. is L.A. Next game is Green Bay versus Arizona. Green Bay is going to win that one. Come on. A-Rod is on fire. He's going to win that. Even though we lost, he's still going to win that game. Next game is Kansas City versus Oakland. And that's going to be Kansas City. Come on, guys. It's Kansas City. I know I'm on. trying to go a little quicker. But still, these games, this should be easy dubs for everybody. Next game is Tennessee versus Giants and Jets. And this is going to be easily Tennessee. Even though they lost to Houston, they're still a good team. And the Jets have been acting like the Jets for the past couple years. And they've been having a, a rut right now. Sam Donalds was hurt. So I think that Tennessee's going to win. Next game is New England. Versus uh, Minnesota. And I'm going to go with New England. Because New England's been really solid. As always. They're always just. Always going to have more wins than losses. And Minnesota has been a little shaky. Um, for me. So I'm going to have to go with New England. Next game is Seattle versus San Fran. And this one is easy to me. It's Seattle. Seattle's very, very good right now. They beat the Pack. Packers, I think, yes, they beat the Packers like on Monday night, um, a, a week or two ago, <clears throat> and yeah, they beat them, so that's a pretty good statement for them, Russell Wilson runs that team, and Chris Carson also, next game is Pittsburgh versus LA, I'll have to go with Pitt, I know, LA is a great offense, this is, honestly, this could go either way, the LA offense could just pick us, our defense apart, and we can't keep up, or it could be flip-flop. Our defense does really good, and the offense explodes. So, and I think Pittsburgh's going to win. They need a bounce back. Because then, the playoffs are almost in jeopardy. Because b Moore is coming back with the, with the vengeance. So, who knows? This might be a big game. And the last game on Monday night is Philly v. Washington. And I'm going with Philly. So thank you guys for watching and all my little rants and uh, the little skits here and there. And hope you like the video. Peace out, Money Fam.